please put the attention on the breath for just a few moments. Look into your heart and see whether there's any anger, envy, dislike, rejection, worry, pride, ill will. If you find any of these or anything else that causes unhappiness, and restlessness. Let these feelings and emotions float away like black clouds that are being dispersed by the wind. They are nothing but black clouds in the purity of your heart. Let them float away. And take another look into your heart and see the wide open expanse, the space which is now ready to be filled with the warmth of love and the care of compassion. There's nothing to obstruct. All you have to do is fill it with that warmth, that huge open space in your heart. Put compassion in it for yourself, for the difficulties you have had and are having, for the difficulty of being a human being, Have empathy with yourself. Embrace yourself with compassion. Fill yourself with the warmth of love. And put your attention on the person sitting nearest you. And realize that this person has exactly as much dukkha as you have yourself. Give that person the gift of compassion, of empathy, of embracing that person with a compassionate heart filling him or her with it and surrounding him or her with the warmth of love. Now think of your parents, whether they're still alive or not. And whether you know it or not, 
they have or have had exactly the same dukkha as you yourself have experienced or are experiencing. Nobody is immune. So the compassion in your heart reaches out to them, fills them with your empathy, with your understanding, with your acceptance, and surrounds them with love. And I will think of those people who are nearest and dearest to us that we might be living with and we might actually know their dukkha. And instead of reacting to it, we feel with them. We feel compassionate care, wanting to help but mainly giving them the gift of love and compassion. And we don't expect to get the same in return. And we think of our friends and acquaintances and relatives, anyone that comes to mind. And we might know the dukkha they're having or have had. Or if we don't, we can be sure everybody has it. It may not be great tragedy. It's just the craving that is within all of us. And if we know it in ourselves, we can have that feeling of togetherness, of caring, of embracing, and reach out to these people with a heart full of love and compassion. we think of those people who are with us in our everyday life our neighbors people at work people in the offices and the shops which we frequent anyone that comes to mind that is part of our daily living 
and even though we may not know their personal lives, we can be sure that complete peace, complete happiness is escaping them because we know ourselves. And so we embrace them with the compassion and the love that comes from understanding and feeling that we're in it together. we think of a difficult person in our life or more than one if we have them or if they're not personally difficult for us then those people with whom we disagree about their thoughts and actions or if we don't find anyone difficult then anyone who finds us difficult And we realize the dukkha that each person carries within because of our unreleased craving, because of our way of thinking. And we can see quite clearly that the difficult person has exactly the same dukkha that we have. Compassion, empathy, understanding and acceptance arises and we can embrace that difficult person put our arms around him or her and let him or her know that we understand and feel with them We open our heart as far and wide as we can and the compassion and the love can flow out of it to people near and far. First to all those who are assembled here. Everyone having their own personal dukkha, but actually it's universal. And so is compassion. Our manifestation of togetherness, our showing of our understanding and acceptance and care and concern. And then we go further afield. Let our heart reach out to all the people that are here at Green Gulch. Everyone we have seen or those that we just know about or assume that they're here.
and then we go still further afield to the people in the surrounding houses who are dealing with the same dukkha we are and all that can help is love and compassion and then further afield to the city the towns, the villages people all over the country whether we know them or not have seen them, have heard of them we know they're there and we also know that Dukkha is part of existence and having met up with our own and having found compassion in our heart for ourselves that compassion can reach out far and wide it's the only good foundation on which we can live together And we can feel that this expands our horizon. It gives us a chance to lose some of our egocentricity and take as many people into our heart as possible. may put our attention back on ourselves and we recognize the joy that comes from loving from giving from manifesting our togetherness with others and seeing this joy within us we can resolve to continue to open our heart so that this joy remains with us we have compassion for ourselves for all our difficulties rather than sadness about them or dislike and we have love for ourselves rather than guilt or blame and with those two in our heart so many of the other emotions will find no room there may people everywhere make love and compassion grow in their hearts in order to start please put the attention on the breath for just a few moments
and look into your heart and see that there is a shining jewel in there beautiful translucent giving off many colors the most valuable thing that one can find in the universe the seed of enlightenment look at it it fills your heart and you can love yourself because you carry that within and the love that you feel is a nourishment for that seed to develop the warmth of your heart gives that beautiful seed within the necessary ground that it needs to grow and you can be joyful at seeing that this wonderful jewel exists in your heart now put your attention on the person sitting nearest you and the same jewel translucent shining reflecting many colors of the greatest value lives in that person's heart and you can fill that person from head to toe with the warmth of love it's the only thing that you can do to help to make that seed into a beautiful flower think of your parents whether they are still alive or not and see that beautiful seed of enlightenment in their hearts the most valuable jewel there is in this world in the whole of the universe and you can love them and care for them as a carrier of this beauty now we think of those people who are nearest and dearest to us that we might be living with and each one carries that same jewel the seed of enlightenment within which illuminates the whole heart when we allow it to do so and our love and compassion and care and concern can fill the hearts of these people to give the nourishment so that the seed can grow
when we think of our friends, acquaintances, relatives, anyone that comes to mind, anyone at all, that we would like to extend the warmth of our love and the care of our compassion to. We look into their hearts and see exactly what we have in our own, the jewel of the seed of enlightenment. And we can love them and embrace them and manifest our togetherness that way. we think of all the people whom we meet in our everyday life, whoever they might be, whoever comes to mind, our neighbors, people at work, people in the shops, in the offices, on the road, in the cars, whoever it is whom we meet, whom we might talk to or just see. And all of them carry that same beautiful jewel, the seed of enlightenment within. And it is easy to love them, to care for them, to manifest our togetherness because we know that they have that which is of the greatest value the same as we do. So we extend the warmth of our heart to them and manifest the togetherness that we feel and the care and help that our love can give them. And now we think of a difficult person. Anyone whom we have been angry at, have rejected, anyone who's been angry at us, has rejected us, or one or more people. And each one carries the same jewel, the seed of enlightenment within, in their hearts, and only love is a nourishment that can make that seed grow and develop and become a beautiful flower. And again we realize the togetherness with that person, the sameness, the non-separation, and the warmth of our heart extends also to the difficult people. And now we take a look at people everywhere. Whatever comes to mind, those that are here in this hall, everyone that's at Green Gulch, all the people in the surrounding houses, people in the cities, towns, on the land, all over the country, there isn't one 
that doesn't have that same jewel in the heart. And it's easy to love each person, to feel connected, to manifest the warmth and embrace and to know that that's the only way we can live together in peace and develop the seed of enlightenment. Wherever we look, each heart has it. (coughs) It's of the greatest beauty and magnificent value. And so our love can flow easily, everywhere, unimpeded. put our attention back on ourselves and take a look into our heart and can we see that this wonderful jewel that we carry within has become a little more shining it's reflecting magnificent colors takes pride of place in our heart And since we can love that jewel, we can fill ourselves from head to toe with the warmth of love and surround ourselves with the care of compassion. And feel at ease and protected. May people everywhere cultivate the seed of enlightenment in their own hearts. Imagine that there is a sun shining in your heart, bright and warming, creating light, warmth, leaving nothing uncovered. Making the flowers and the seeds grow. Your heart becomes a most beautiful garden with the sun shining on it. The warmth of the sun in your heart fills you, surrounds you, gives you a feeling of well-being and ease.
Now let the sun from your heart shine, reach out, give its beautiful rays of warmth from your heart to the person sitting nearest you. And fill that person from head to toe with that warmth that the sun in your heart provides. As your gift to that person. Think of your parents, whether they are still alive or not. Let the sun from your heart reach out to their hearts. Fill them with the warmth, the clear light, the beautiful feeling. Give it to them as a gift from you. Think of your nearest and dearest people, those that you might be living with. And because the sun is shining in your heart, you can give them the warmth and the light and the clarity, the beauty of your heart, without expecting anything in return. And now we'll think of our friends and acquaintances and relatives, anyone that comes to mind. Let them arise before your mind's eye. See them quite clearly. And see the sun in your heart, warming, shining, full of light, clarity, beauty. And then let its rays reach out to these people's hearts, filling them with the greatest beauty we can give away, the warmth of our heart.
we think of those people whom we meet in our everyday life. Anyone that comes to mind, neighbors, people at work, on the street, in the shops, in the offices, we see in the traffic, and the sun in our own heart makes it possible to give them all great warmth, beautiful rays of shining light, to give them joy, to manifest our togetherness, to make them aware that we have this heart's gift for them. Think of a difficult person in your life, or several, or those people whom you find difficult because you can't agree with their ideals or thoughts or actions. And just as the sun shines on everybody alike, so the sun in your heart also shines on that difficult person or persons. And the rays from that sun in your heart warms that person's heart and you can let go of the difficulty and embrace that person in the fullness of the warmth of your heart. Now open your heart as wide as possible and let the sun grow and grow in your heart shining on people everywhere bringing them the warmth and the light and the beauty of your heart. First, let it reach out and let its rays shine on the people here. And then on everybody at Green Gulch. And then go further afield let it shine wherever you can find people, either knowing them, having seen them, heard about them, or assuming them to be there. The sun shines everywhere. It doesn't discriminate. Let the sun in your heart do the same, bringing the warmth of your heart to people everywhere. Mm. Let it also shine on all the animals and insects that live with us. All the ones you can think of. Flies, grasshoppers, cats, mice, rats, raccoons, anything at all that you can think of that lives with us. The warmth of your heart can embrace it all. Let the sun of your heart shine on the trees and the flowers, the bushes, the vegetables, everything 
that surrounds us. Loving them helps for the togetherness with them. Not just standing apart and admiring them, but being part of them. Let the warm rays from your heart reach out to the sky clouds, the moon and the stars, as far as the horizon and beyond, let the love from your heart include all the land and the oceans on this planet. And as you do that, you will see living beings everywhere, in the water, in the air, fish, birds, go further and further afield, embrace it all, because the sun in your heart can shine everywhere, bringing the warmth and the clarity and the light to all that we know. Now put your attention back on yourself and see the beautiful sun in your heart. Feel its warmth touching you Filling you, embracing you. Feel the sense of well being, contentment, and gratitude. Being protected by that, being made steadfast. Having a sense of a strong, solid foundation on which you can rest. May people everywhere feel the warmth of the sun in their heart. In order to start, please put the attention on the breath for just a few moments. Imagine that you have a beautiful, bubbling fountain of clear and pure water in your heart where every drop that falls down is filled with love so that your heart becomes filled with love very quickly and all the drops that come out of that wonderful fountain, a fountain of love, have shiny colors in them because they are so pure and so clear that a rainbow can be mirrored in them. And with that beauty, the warmth of love also is coming into your heart and filling it completely.
And since your heart is already full of all these drops of love, you now fill the whole body from head to toe with those beautiful, clear water drops from the fountain of love. Now let this fountain of love reach out to the person nearest you and fill his or her heart with those drops that contain the warmth of love, are pure and clear, and fill that person's heart so that there's joy and recognition of the beauty of love. And think of your parents, whether they're still alive or not. That fountain of love bubbling away in your heart is available to everyone. Let all the drops that you can gather reach out and fill their hearts. The love that they feel brings joy to them. And now let that fountain of love in your heart send its water drops, each one full of love, to the hearts of the people that you live with, or those that are nearest and dearest to you, without any expectation to get anything in return, as a pure gift from your heart to their hearts. And the more of those water drops you give away, the better that fountain seems to function. It reaches higher and wider and more water drops full of love seem to come out of it. So you reach out to the hearts of your friends, of your relatives, your acquaintances and fill them all with the beauty of that clear and pure water that comes out of the fountain of love. And you can see that they feel joy in your togetherness, in your care, in your gift. Now look around for more people that can take part in the fountain of love that's bubbling in your heart. That you can give the gift of love to. Those that you meet in your everyday life. Those 
that you see around here, those that you've heard about, those that you've known, those that you assume are there. That fountain of love is infinite. It has no limitations. The drops full of love can go far and wide. Now you think of some difficult people. either difficult in your own life or difficult because their actions seem to be harmful. But the fountain of love, being infinite, goes everywhere. And so you fill their hearts too with that clear and pure water. And each drop brings the warmth of love to their hearts. And that is the only way to overcome hate and dislike. We look at that fountain of love in our hearts and let it rise higher and higher, get bigger and bigger, so that it can reach out to more and more people. And it goes far beyond the limitations of our bodies and our minds, reaches out everywhere to fill people's hearts with the drops of love which accumulate so that their whole hearts feel nourished. And we let the drops from that fountain of love reach out and nourish all the animals that we can think of. Birds, insects, bees, cats, dogs, cows, raccoons, any animal you can think of, deer, and the fish in the streams and the ocean. A fountain of love from your heart it's unlimited. It can go everywhere and nourish 
everything that it touches with purity, with love, with clarity. And so we let it also drop each water drop on nature around us. A nourishment of that water of love is the greatest that we can bestow. Let that fountain of love in your heart grow so large that you can actually feel that it lets drops of love reach out to the whole of this planet. All the living beings, all of nature, the earth, the water, the sky, everything that belongs to this planet. A fountain of love in your heart is unlimited and it can become so large that it can go everywhere. Now put your attention back on yourself. And as you feel the purity and the warmth of love from that fountain in your heart, you're filled with that from head to toe, surrounded by it, and the joy that it gives is the most important aspect of your whole inner life that you're now experiencing. May people everywhere find the fountain of love in their own heart.